بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم تو اور شانل بروف نور الدين باي اكاديمي فور كومبيوتر ساينس اند بروغرامينغ لانجويج ان ذس فيديو وي ويل ان شاء الله نو هاو تو يوز ستور بروسيدير ان اي سبيلوت نت ويب اي سبيلوت نت اند ذس 5 ابليكيشن المين مين اوبجيكتيف اوف ذس سيري از to prepare the ISP.NET core because to study ISP.NET core uh, we must have uh, some skills of uh, MVC5 you have a uh, we created a, a table named utilizer user with three properties ID login user and password and we created a set of stored procedure add user delete get get specific user and update Uh, now we went to uh, list all users and create a new user with with entity uh, data model uh, using stock procedure. So go to Visual Studio and uh, recall all technique in last video. So create new project web ISP.NET web application uh, web application name. Okay, we shows MVC. Uh, project okay the first step is create a entity data model ado.net entity data model and integrate all stored procedure in this model so okay so okay now we go to models uh, right click in models folder and add and ado.net entity data model we need it for example model user for example okay and uh, we from database for, from database first so uh, go to sql server and connect and connect and copy this server name we need this the name of the server of the database server so control c connect and uh, back to visual studio and next new connection and we uh, specify the uh, server name and we show our uh, database test start procedure we can test this connection always okay so okay next we show our table the name of the table is each visitor and we must caution this Start procedure and functions so we can select all uh, start procedure so finish okay. now uh, the second step is integrated all integrated all this start procedure so go to this uh, DMX file and right click in this area and shows model browsers repeat right click and go to model browsers yeah, go to model browsers and go to functions and functions importance so we must uh, write right click in add user and edit and uh, shows entity utilizer okay we uh, do the same work to all this all this start procedure delete edit and now uh, shows each user get edit and so uh, okay right click and on cities okay we update uh, edit and Uh, we must do this work to integrate the, all uh, this stored procedure and then the third the third step is create a controller create a controller so right click in controller folder and add controller and we can show mvc file controller empty and we can show mvc file controller with the right action is important okay we can need it uh, you uh, sorry user controller so okay increase the writing size to view all actions in this folder 
in this controller so uh, index index is a action to list all uh, user so uh, try to integrate uh, our model uh, in this application so using using system uh, uh, sorry uh, the name of the our project is web application 9 dot models and we uh, in in the code we will use uh, sql parameter because in uh, our uh, add store procedure we have three parameter id and name and password so so right using system uh, sorry system dot data dot sql client to use so the first step is create an index so index to list all its users go to our uh, entity data model so go to the model and go to the code and try this is the name of our entity code say go to uh, so var x equal new control v var db is equal our x dot get all user and return so, so sorry return x to sorry db dot to list to list to list and, uh, and uh, when we create our form or a view uh, from this action so add view the name is index template is list we can, because we like to list all uh, user the model class is, is user and the context is context so add uh, we must build our project before do it so sorry sorry cancel uh, build build solution so, and repeat this key right click add view and shows list repeat the same thing to the third and uh, context is Test for procedure and set add. Then, alhamdulillah, this is a view to list all users. So, uh, try to execute this code, user index. Alhamdulillah, uh, this all user. Now, we try to create a new user so so okay we have go to user control we have create this function to create the view and post to create a new uh, user so first step create add view create so class model user and okay this is the view to this is a web form or a view to insert new user go to model user control and go to create this function post so I should say previous form we can use which user so user and try to write the code we have three parameters go to uh, our procedure so uh, database test programmability store procedure add user we have three parameters but id name password and we can uh, go to uh, the code of uh, this procedure uh, 
process the inserts into user values arabesk id arabesk name arabesk pass we must use the same name id name pass so the first is sql parameter p1 dot new sql parameter the name of the parameter and the value the value is user dot id and we can repeat this control c control v control v the first is a robust id the p2 a robust name and a robust pass but user is dot login dot password user p3 and go to this and go to variable control c and control v and db equal x dot database dot execute sql command and we give the parameter p1 value p comma p3 and try to give them the name of our procedure is add user so control c control v and arobask i we must use the same name arobask arobask name same name of the procedure so arobask pass and the let and top over here database VAT so Alhamdulillah well, now we can execute this code uh, control S now we can create go to this Alhamdulillah, now we can use uh, the name is Tarek uh, uh, for example and the password is Azerzi.Arabask and, and create so Alhamdulillah this Tarek and we can create new again thank you very much and we will complete uh, update action and delete action in the next video inshallah thank you very much for your support and uh, don't forget to uh, mention any comment uh, in this video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh